Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Minnesota Rockers CDL first major, major one, the 2021 first one major. Lots of ones icon, hopefully <laughs> lots of dubs today for for our favorite teams. Obviously, as you guys know, I'm Ashley, a.k.a. Midnight here, working for Rocker. Very stoked. I got Icon on here, bringing some some hot takes, some analysis. Uh, my my Basically, like... My new duo trio, you and Kingdom, y'all are my yeah, y'all are my group go. now. We do the we do the, we do the podcast together. We're having fun. We we love to talk COD, and that's what we're here to do today. So, if you guys aren't aware, Minnesota Rocker is going to be playing Toronto Ultra tonight, and we're doing this pre-show to just kind of talk about the matchup. Talk about, I mean, there's a there's a bunch of banger matches today on the CDL stream. The CDL stream does start in 12 minutes if you're watching this live, or if you're watching it after the fact. You know, hopefully, maybe you're sneaking this video in before the Rocker match later, because unfortunately, although we're doing the pre-show now, we actually don't play until 6.30 central standard time tonight and keep in mind we are the last match of the day so depending on how like let's say there's three three o's that happen before us we'll go on early if they're y'all go to map five we might be on late so it's a, it's a little bit of a dice roll but either way i'm super stoked for the match tonight i can't wait the battle for the north icon hot quick take on these teams obviously we saw toronto beating london yesterday is toronto like I thought Toronto was better than they're playing lately. What's what's up with them, and should should Rocker fans be scared today? Yeah, so Toronto yesterday did squeak by London. I just want to make sure that we're clear on that. So it was a 3-2, and even though you might be thinking, like, Toronto got a win, a couple of their players seem to have played pretty well, like Bance and Methods played really well yesterday. They did barely squeak by a team that hasn't won a match yet, and they're just kind of all over the place. In fact, London had a fill-in yesterday. Alex wasn't able to go, so Zed was in, and they still barely squeaked by in that map five. I mean, the search was 6-4, but that's, I mean, that's pretty close going all the way down to map five. So the thing with me when it comes to Toronto is just every time – I watch Toronto play. I'm always keyed in because like you kind of know what you're going to get from methods. You kind of know what you're going to get from bands. For me, I'm just, I'm always keyed in on what is Kleenex and Cami doing? Because for me, they're like, I mean, they're the young guns. They, they bring the pressure. They're always hitting Hills. And if they're hitting Hills and getting two pieces and winning rotations, that's when they're at their best. You can talk about bands and methods, but they're just kind of always, you know, playing like the more usual roles. So when I watched them play yesterday, Cami and Kleenex really didn't have a great day. And I think that's why that match was so close overall. So if I'm a Minnesota fan and I'm sitting back, yeah, of course, you're playing a team that just came off a win, but it wasn't a resounding win and they didn't look super good in that win. On the flip side of that, the last time we saw Minnesota against that same London squad, I mean, it was... It was a blowout. It was a 100-point win in the hard point, 6-4 in the search, and then the control actually did come pretty close, but every single person, if you look at stats across the board, everybody for Minnesota went off. Accuracy had like a 1.42 in that matchup, and in that control, he was the big – I mean, he just basically took over in that raid control against London. So accuracy played very well. Major Maniac had a good tournament. The only person that didn't play well in that is Priesta, which – Obviously, if Minnesota wants to make a run here in the loser's bracket, you got to get a ton out of Priesta here moving forward because you know what you're going to get out of Attach and Major Maniac and Accuracy. But Priesta is just, he's that guy that's always got eyes on him. If he performs, Minnesota can beat anybody. If he comes out and doesn't play super well, they can still win. It just might not be as resounding of a win as if he pops off. Yeah, definitely agree there. I mean, it, it talk, you said you mentioned that we're we're in the losers bracket, or as I like to call it, the lower bracket. Okay, <laughs> only when we're down there though. Whenever when anyone else is down there, it's the losers bracket. But so just to put uh, give you guys perspective of where we are on the map here, we are in the lower bracket. We got top four in our group, and we needed to get top three to get in the upper bracket or the winner's bracket. So basically, we can't lose today. If we lose at any point in this major, we're done. Now, if we were in the upper bracket, we could take an L, we could go down, we could fight our way back up through the lower bracket and try to figure it out. But we are afforded, uh, you know, no room for mistakes today. So even though, yeah, like 
uh, Toronto, I thought they looked probably best when they played us at the kickoff, which obviously that match didn't count and we still won it, but they looked pretty good. And then I think even in their first couple of matches, Toronto looked pretty nice, you know, shout out chef Tony. Uh, I got <laughs> Kleenex on my, on my fantasy lineup. He was doing pretty good for me. And then I don't know, something happened. I'm not sure what's going on with them, but they have not been very clean. You mentioned them not looking too great versus London uh, yesterday, but either way, there is absolutely no taking anybody lightly down here in the lower bracket. It's a must win game if we want to make any impact on this first majors. So it sucks, man. You get tied 3 2 with Dallas, Subliners, Thieves, and us. And we just, we got the short end of the stick of the map count there. Obviously, it was, we controlled our destiny and our fate, but still, it's, it's a tough scene to end up in the lower bracket. Um, but I mean, I guess if you're looking at the lower bracket, and I'm, you know, I might, need to just get this cleared up but i've been studying some of the bracketology or whatever the hell and uh <laughs> if we do beat toronto i believe we would play the loser of la thieves and lag now i believe that's right i'm not saying thieves is going to annihilate the gorillas but it's possible they do and it's possible if we win and they lose we'd be playing lag which technically if you're looking at the bracket it is we're a little bracket blessed if you can be i don't know if there's a way to be blessed in the lower bracket because like i said any like anybody could turn up on any day and your your run for stage one is over so don't want to take anyone lightly but it's being where we are i think we are in the best i guess scenario right now so we'll talk more about the minnesota rocker and toronto match in a minute i just really quickly wanted to go through icon these banger matches that we've actually got before the rocker match tonight like i said we play last tonight uh, allegedly at 6 30 central kind of depends on how the matches you know how quickly the matches before us go or not but lag versus la thieves are up first that's going to be starting in literally six minutes i'm so hype give me a quick take we got to do these predictions quick icon who's winning that what's the map count yeah quick take right now la thieves is playing unbelievable in their respawns they're the number one hard point team in the cdl right now and if tj continues to play search and destroy like he's been playing they are a team that i do not want to see and if they end up beating lag and playing atlanta in the second round of winners i mean that's going to be a tough matchup so i have la thieves here just because they're playing so well in respawns and tj's been going off in search I believe if LA Thieves win, would they play Dallas? Is that how that works or no? No, I'm trying they play to see... Atlanta. Oh, dang. I wanted to see a Nade Shot Hastro fist fight on the timeline. <laughs> I'd love to see the storylines for that match. Might get it at some way, point. Yeah, I... I've, sh let's do a pay-per-view. Come on, figure it out, COD community. Uh, I think LA Thieves takes Gorillas easy, probably 3-0 or 3-1. Optic versus Subliners. This is my match of the day for today. Um, the match I'm most excited for, obviously, is the Rocker one, but Optic versus Subliners. Both of these teams have looked really, really good as of late, particularly New York. Um, so what the heck, dude? How do you even predict this icon? Do you have a prediction for this one? Yeah, I mean, in my pick em, I ended up taking Optic 3-2, but even so, I mean, it's such a crapshoot at this point just because Asim and Diamond kind of been playing so well. You don't know if you're going to continue to get that sort of performance out of them. Clay has been one of the top five players in the league so far this year, so Clay's absolutely been popping off. I, that one is so tough to call. I just went with Optic just because they have a little bit more in terms of like team chemistry and they've been playing together since the beginning of the year, so they haven't gone through all the changes. If it goes to that map five, I mean, Optic hasn't looked great in search, but I just feel like in a big moment like this, this is where you see the scumps and the formals of the world uh, clutch up. So that's why I ended up going with Chicago 3-2. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Chicago 3-1. I think they'll drop the search, but when the respawns, it's very possible that the series could even go the other way. It could be New York 3-1. It just kind of depends on, like, like you said, like, does a seam show up the same way that he has? Does Di you know, are, does Clay get the youngsters fired up enough to take on the green wall? We'll see. That's the match I'm most excited to see today. It's going to be crazy. Hashtag green wall. That's my second favorite team. Feels weird to say. If you guys don't know, I was on Optic for like nine years. <laughs> but go let's go optic uh and then we've got paris legion versus florida mutineers i'm gonna actually i'm gonna step on your toes a little bit this is my upset of the 
life day weekend day i don't know if you even call it an upset because <laughs> florida's not really looked very good but if you would have asked me you know three weeks ago who you think is going to win paris versus florida i'd say florida and now there's a moment of pause for me i'm like i think paris could take yep. it so i'm predicting paris three two in this one what do you think yeah i've got paris too same three weeks ago i had florida as my fourth team in power rankings and since then they've just completely fallen off when you look at paris they almost squeaked by and beat atlanta in that map five search and before that they beat toronto they 3 0'd florida just not i mean this was just during super week so for me i just feel like paris is on fire right now and florida did play yesterday and they did get a win and skies and awakening looked great but neptune and slack did not so i feel like at this point in time in a major like this Everybody has to be firing on all cylinders, and I just don't think Florida is right now, so I'm going Paris. Yeah, they're looking real, real spotty. I mean, it's hard to like it's hard to vote against Caesar Skies Bueno, right? Like it's you can't bet against it because you know that at any moment they can you know X factor and go off. But I don't know. I think Paris could take it to them. All right, Minnesota Rocker versus Toronto Ultra. Like I said, tonight at six thirty Central Time on the Cod League YouTube channel. Tune in to watch the Rocker match. We'll be having actually a little Discord, little watch party vibes. Come chat with us in the Discord tonight. We'll be in there getting hyped together going just spam and text you know the deal it's a good time um but who do you got i got rocker 3-0 oh. i'm going nuts i know the last time i predicted rocker 3-0 oh, i believe we got schmabobbled by new york <laughs> but i think like toronto looked rough yesterday i'm knocking on wood i'm not trying to jinx anything but rockers gonna get hot toronto's cold right now and it's the battle for the north you usually think the colder team would win but i think rockers gonna melt the snow and i don't i can't think of any more funny wordplay with that but <laughs> so what do you think i think 3-0 rocker over toronto are you thinking rocker dubs or what yeah i i think you stole my thunder and hit all the major points i think maybe Minnesota could come out and drop that map one, but they're not going to lose a surge. They're probably not going to lose a control. They've been playing really good at both of those game modes. And by that time, they're going to have so much momentum and everything else on their side that I think at worst, it would be a 3-1 victory. But my official, I'm calling it a 3-0 also. I think they're going to come out, win that hard point. I think the surge is probably going to go over fairly easy and then make plays in the control. I've got a 3-0 Minnesota win here. I sure hope so, because like we mentioned, you've got to come out with the heat in the lower bracket. There is no room for mistakes. There's no, oh, we messed up a rotation, so we didn't win the map. Oopsies. No, we, we have to come out hot, and I think a 3-0 would do a ton for the guys' confidence, even though it is against the Toronto team that hasn't looked very good as of late. But with all that being said, you never no, it's CDL. All these teams are so dang competitive. Toronto could very well win the match. You got to tune in to find out. The match is on at 6.30 p.m. Central tonight on the Codley YouTube channel. I'm Ashley, a.k.a. Midnight, here with Icon. This was our little pre-show. I believe the CDL stream is going live now, so you can tune in right now on the CDL uh call the cod league youtube channel to check out the cdl matches for the major one la thieves versus gorillas optic versus sub subliners let's go greenwall paris versus mutineers and capping off the night with the battle of the north rocker versus ultra thank you so much for watching we hope you